असला स्टूडेंट दिस इज योर मिस साधिया फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम टू माई चैनल एवो केमिस्ट्री फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टॉपिक रिव्यू क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव फिनिश्ड आर चैप्टर वन नाउ रिव्यू क्वेश्चन आर ओनली लेफ्ट रिव्यू क्वेश्चन वुडन टेक डेट मच टाइम बिकॉज यू हैव प्रैक्टिस ऑल दी टॉपिक्स एंड नुमेरिकल्स वर्ल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन सर्किल द करेक्ट आंसर स्टूडेंट दीज आर दी मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन नाउ वन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग लिस्ट कंटेन्स ओनली एलिमेंट स्टूडेंट इन एट दी स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द एलिमेंट्स वट आर दी एलिमेंट्स एलिमेंट्स आर दी सिंपलेस्ट सब्सटेंस डेट कंटेन्स दी सेम काइंड ऑफ आइटम्स एंड ऑल दी आइटम्स हैव सेम एटोमिक नंबर स्टूडेंट दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी एलिमेंट्स वी हैव फोर ऑप्शन ऑप्शन ए बी सी एंड डी In option A, we have air, water, and oxygen. A, would it be our correct answer? Air is a mixture. You know, students, in a mixture topic, you have learned air is a mixture, not element. And water is a molecule, and oxygen. If oxygen is an element, but rest of two, air and water, are not elements, so this cannot be our correct answer. Now B, we have hydrogen, oxygen, and brass. Hydrogen and oxygen, they both are elements. But what is a brass? Brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. So, students, it cannot be element. So, this option cannot be correct answer. Now, C, air, water, fire, earth. So, students, can it be our correct answer? Is air an element? Is air an element? No, air is a mixture. Water, water is a molecule, and fire. students and you know about fire fire produced as a result of combustion reactions and the flame is a visible portion of the fire and flame consists of carbon dioxide water vapors oxygen and nitrogen so students it cannot be element now earth and what is about earth is earth an element no students earth crust is made up of several kinds of elements so it cannot be our correct answer now what about d calcium is an element sulfur is an element and carbon is also an element so students according to this option d is our correct answer okay understood is correct which option contains only the elements option d contains only the elements why the other options contains other substances as well Now part two, the diagram below represents particles in four substances. Which box represents particles in nitrogen? Students, you know about nitrogen. Nitrogen exists as its diatomic form in form of N two. If you look at the diagram A, some atoms and molecules are there, so it cannot be our correct answer. And if you look at the diagram B, it shows molecules. But because it shows molecule, because two atoms are joined together, but these two atoms are different, not same kinds of atoms. So these are the molecules, but these are not the nitrogen molecules. So this cannot be our correct answer. And C, if you look at the diagram C, there are different sizes of atoms there. So it cannot also be our correct answer. Now D, if you look at the D, they are the molecules. and they and the two atoms join together to form molecules and these two atoms are of same size they both atoms have the same atomic number they are of same size so according to this option d is our correct answer understood what is the formula mass of penta hydrated copper sulfate atomic masses are given atomic mass of copper is 63.5 Sulfur thirty two, oxygen sixteen, and hydrogen one. And student, you know about you know already about that. How do we calculate the formula masses of compounds? So, what answer would be our correct answer? Option A one fifty nine point five, B one eighty five point five, C two forty nine point five, D one forty nine point five. Okay, let's see solution. Copper sulfate dot five H two O is equal to copper plus sulfur plus four into O because we have four oxygen atoms. 
प्लस फाइव बिकॉज हाउ मेनी वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स आर विथ कॉपर सल्फेट देर आर फाइव मोटर वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मॉलिक्यूलर मास ऑफ वॉटर एज वेल Now put the atomic masses: copper sixty-three point five, sulfur thirty-two plus four into sixteen, because the oxygen has the atomic mass sixteen plus five, and hydrogen has the one in two into one because hydrogen atomic number one plus sixteen. Now after that sixty-three point five plus thirty-two when four multiplied by oxygen we get the answer sixty-four plus five into eighteen. students after solution 159.5 plus 90 we get and after summing them we get 249.5 amu so student this is the formula mass of pentahydrated copper sulfate so which option is correct option a option b option c or option d yes option c is our correct answer now for a compound with chemical formula na2cx3 has formula mass 106 amu atomic mass of the element x is we have the four options a 106 b 23 c 12 and d 16 so we have to find the atomic mass of element x students it's a very easy question solution as you know the overall formula mass of whole compound is 106 amu so we have to write it like that na2cx3 is equal to 106 amu 2na because subscript value becomes a coefficient 2na plus carbon plus n plus 3x is equal to 106 students it is totally a mathematical calculation now put the atomic masses 2 into 23 because atomic mass of sodium is 23 Plus twelve because carbon has the atomic mass twelve plus three x. X is unknown for us. After solution, we get the value of x is sixteen amu. So students, sixteen amu is our correct answer. So according to this, which option is correct? A, B, C, D. Where is A? Where is sixteen? Yes, in option D. Yes, option D is our correct answer. Now students, next. Five. How many moles of molecules are there in sixteen gram oxygen? Students, it's a mole mass calculation. It's a very simple. You will have learned the formula of moles. Moles number of moles is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass. And the mass of oxygen already given sixteen gram. And you know, so, uh, and you know, oxygen exists as its diatomic form. So let's go. We have the option A one B zero point five C zero point one and D zero point zero five. So how many moles of oxygen molecules in sixteen gram? So solution because oxygen exists as its diatomic form. So uh, the atomic mass of oxygen is sixteen, but when we multiply it two, it becomes thirty two. So molar mass of oxygen is thirty two gram. Now number of moles is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass. Put the values. Mass is given sixteen, and molar mass we have calculated it thirty-two. So number of moles we get zero point five moles of oxygen. So students, it means that whenever we have sixteen gram of oxygen, so number of moles would be equal to zero point five moles. So which option is our correct? Option A one. Option B zero point five. C zero point one, and D zero point zero five. Yes, students. Option. B is our correct answer. Now, number six. What is the mass of four moles of hydrogen gas? Yes, students. We have to find the mass. What is the mass of four moles? Number of moles are given of which element? Hydrogen. And you know, students, hydrogen exists as its diatomic form. So let's start. We have the four options: option A, B, C, and D. In option A, we have the answer eight point zero six four. And in B four point zero three two, and in C one, and in D one point double zero eight. So students, which option would be our correct answer? Solution. Yes, students, you can see at the side box molar mass of hydrogen. You know, hydrogen has the atomic mass one, but hydrogen exists as its diatomic form. So we get the molar mass of hydrogen two gram. So students, number of moles is equal to mass in gram divided by molar mass. Now put the values. Number of moles four, mass in gram. Don't know. And divided by molar mass two. Now four into two is equal to mass of hydrogen. Now finally we get the mass of hydrogen is eight gram. That is 
8 grams. So which option is correct? Option A, option B, option C or option D? Yes. Yes, option A is our correct answer. Understood? Now, 7. Now, question 7. What is the mass of carbon present in 44 gram of carbon dioxide? Yes, students, the overall molecular mass of compound carbon dioxide is 44 gram. So, what would be the mass of carbon present in 44 gram? Yes, we have four options. Option A, 12 gram. Option B, 6 gram. Option C, 24 gram. And option D, 44 gram. Solution. In a side box, you can see that molar mass of hydrogen is 32 gram. Now, carbon dioxide. Overall, molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 gram. So, how do we calculate the mass of carbon in carbon dioxide? Carbon A plus 2 into O is equal to 44 gram. Carbon plus 2, put the value of oxygen, is equal to 44 gram. Now, carbon plus 32 is equal to 44. Now, by this way, we get the value of carbon is 12 gram. So, 12 gram is answered. 12 gram is the mass present in 44 gram of carbon dioxide. So, according to it, which could be our correct answer? Yes, which option is the correct? Option A, option B, option C or option D? Let's check. Yes, option A is our correct answer. Yes. Now, 8 the electronic configuration of an element is 1s2, 2s2. An atom of this element will form an ion that will have charge. Students, electronic configuration, this topic you will study at the end of chapter 2 and chapter 3. But in this chapter, you have also learned about the formation of ions. How do atoms remove or gain electrons to form ions? 1s2, 2s2 configurations shows that an atom has 4 electrons. These powers shows the number of electrons. And these electrons and there are total 4 electrons atom has. But 2 electrons are in the first shell and rest of 2 electrons are in the second shell. And this second shell also known as valence shell. So to get the stability, atom remove these 2 electrons, outermost electrons. So, after removing the electrons, atom gets charged. How many electrons will remove from an atom? Two electrons. So when an atom removes two electrons, it gets di-positive ion. So, which option would be correct? Option E, option B, option C or option D. Option A plus 1, option B plus 2 and option C plus 3 and option D minus 1. Yes, students, after removing the two electrons from an atom, atom gets charged. So, it removes two electrons, so it gets di-positive charge. So, which option is our correct answer? Yes, option B is the correct. Understood? But if you are still confused, don't worry, we will discuss this electronic configuration in detail ahead. Now, 9. Which term is the same for one mole of oxygen and one mole of water? Yes, students, if you have one mole of oxygen and one mole of water, which option would be our correct option? Like option A, volume, option B, mass, option C, atoms, and option D, molecules. As you know, students, you have learned in mole topic, one mole of any substance equal to its Avogadro's number particles. And these particles may be atoms, ions, or molecules. In order to this, volume and mass cannot be used. Now, atoms and molecules which term would be used for oxygen and for water as you know students oxygen exists as its diatomic form so it is a molecule and water is also a molecule so they both are molecules and if they both are one mole they contain the Avogadro's number particles and these particles are molecules so according to this which option would be correct yes students option a b c or d Yes, option D is the correct answer. Now, question number 10. If one mole of carbon contains X atoms, what is the number of atoms containing 12 gram of magnesium? Yes, students, it's a little bit tricky question, but don't worry about it. Students, first of all, you should know about that one mole of any substance contains the Avogadro's number atoms. But here we suppose that, let's suppose, 
one mole of carbon contains x atom. So it means that one mole of magnesium contains also x atom. And what is the carbon? Carbon. And what is the molar mass of carbon? Twelve gram. And what is the molar mass of magnesium? Atomic mass of magnesium is twenty-four mu, and the molar mass of magnesium is twenty-four gram. So according to this condition, what would be our correct answer? Option A is x. Out option B zero point five x. Option C two x, and option D one point five x. Okay, let's check what would be our correct answer. Solution. Students, as you know, one mole of a substance contains six point zero two two exponent twenty three particles. But according to given situation, if one mole of carbon contains x atoms, therefore one mole of magnesium atoms contains x atoms too. Therefore, in one mole of carbon there are twelve grams of carbon. Similarly, in one mole of magnesium there are twenty four grams of magnesium. Understood? So as we know, twenty four gram of magnesium contains x atoms. Therefore, one gram of magnesium contains x divided by twenty four, and twelve gram of magnesium contains multiply twelve on both sides. We get the answer. 0.5x atoms 12 gram of magnesium contains 0.5x atoms so which option is our correct option option a option b option c or option d yes our option b is our correct but we can solve this problem by applying the formula method and you know we have applied formula method in case of all numericals so we can check it by applying formula method to Now, number of atoms is equal to moles into x atom because we suppose that our Gertrude's number here are x atoms. Now, open the formula of moles in above formula. We put the mass twelve divided by molar mass. Molar mass of magnesium is twenty four and multiplied by x atoms. So we get the answer zero point five x. So, student, zero point five x is our correct answer. Now, student, we have completed review questions part one. do practice as much as you can if you, but still if you have any question you may ask in comment section and i have also provided my gmail id in description and students at the end thank you so much students for watching my channel take care of yourself allah hafiz